All right, Shime, explain to Wiggy and myself and, and others the rapid rise uh, draft-wise of J.J. McCarthy. Yeah, so I think it boils down to one thing and one thing in particular, and uh, I don't want to make fun of anybody, but it's a very old head way of thinking that I, I, I believe a lot of people in the NFL are leaning to. And, and a lot of times what happens is the NFL is – farther ahead of the scouting process and stuff on these guys, and then the media catches up over time. This is the process in which the media is caught up to the NFL, really liking J.J. McCarthy, and they really like him because he just he wins a lot, which I think is stupid. Well, I know Wiggy agrees he thinks it's stupid. Mm -hmm. Greg, you don't think it's stupid, which is fine. No, I don't. That's your prerogative, and that's okay. Um, I, but that is, I think that is the way a lot of the NFL decision-makers think, and they're like, oh, that kid wins. We should draft him. This sounds like new Scrabble to me all over again. Like I so <laughs> so the fact that the man is a proven winner is irrelevant to you. That's an old head thing. Greg, yeah, you so, keep bringing that up. The guys that win are not great in the NFL. Let me give you the four winningest quarterbacks in college football history and tell me how good their NFL careers were. Kellen Moore, Colt McCoy, <laughs> Andy Dalton, oh. fine career. He's yeah, whatever. Fine. And then David Green, a fellow Georgia board yes. Bulldog of Wiggy. Go Dawgs! Or Stetson Bennett. Yes. Or Tim okay, Go Dawgs! You're, you're going winning as percentage wise. No, no, no. Most wins, like one games. Like uh, Kellen Moore won 50, Colt McCoy won 45, well, Andy this, Dalton uh, won 42. I'm, I'm going to argue against myself here probably, but you did the same exact thing with Mac Jones. You deny the fact that winning a national championship is meaningful. Yeah, and I was right about Mac Jones. He stunk. He won a he won a championship in a COVID year where the unanimously the people decided the receiver he was throwing to was so much better than the quarterback, which never happens, that the receiver won the Heisman. Like that that's the difference. So you think that's it? It has nothing to do with the fact that the guy interviews well and has a it shows a lot of character in his interviews and is a leader and is intelligent. So I think and that I, that could be an influence for sure. I don't I don't discount that, but we don't have access to the interview, so I can only go on the information on the information we actually have access. Okay, so sure. if do you buy Michael Hawley's reporting that the Patriots are leaning toward taking him and the Commanders at two or three? I, With I, Elliot you, Wolf being buy, the son of Ron Wolf, yes. Okay, I buy so it. you're saying Elliot Wolf because he's not an old head, but you're saying Elliot. But he Wolf learned does, from the old heads. Okay, he learned from his father, so Correct. that's a bit, that's now a bad thing, also. Right. And Matt uh, Jones, in this regard, I, I would say I, yes. yes. Okay. And Matt Jones, Greg, uh, is uh, is Gerard Mayo an old head? I mean, is he? No, a, but no. I don't necessarily believe that he has very much say. Zero in the draft say in who, Okay, so now zero say in who his quarterback is. Greg, how? I believe in, that. in order in order of I thought say we were in being the collaborative over yeah, there, like okay. new Scrabble. You do believe no. that? <laughs> <laughs> like in order of uh, say in the pick, it's probably what Robert Kraft, then Elliot Wolf, and then Gerard Mayo. Really? You got to get Jonathan in there also. Oh, yeah. I would count him with Robert the Crafts. Okay. Oh, and, and oh, they're simpatico. Yes. And Greg, okay. I'll give you Mac Jones. And here's the difference between Mac and JJ McCarthy. And I'm not talking about the winning element. At least Mac in college put up ridiculous numbers his senior year. Right? Oh, that's because he had great wide well, receivers. Well, no, he did have great wide receivers. He did, in a so, COVID year when there was no, no So fans. when you win in COVID. Did he have great wide receivers here when he was playing for the New England Patriots? No, no, no. But no, my, but, no, he didn't. But my, well, point, dunk. my point is this. When you win in college, but you just happen to be on a winning team and your numbers are just like, okay, but, but it's really about like Curtis brought up Stetson Bennett who played for Georgia, or Jake Fromm, who played for Georgia, and your mm -hmm. numbers are just okay, but your team is so talented. Like, I don't really know how much of the winning was you. When you are a guy and you're on a winning team, like Baker Mayfield or even Kyla Murray, and you're throwing the ball all over the place, then it's more about your talent. Now, granted, it's just college. So I, this whole winning thing for J.J. McCarthy, but see, he texter, won one national the, the, championship. The texter says he's a leader. He is completely coachable with no ego, and he will galvanize a locker room, the exact opposite of Caleb Williams. But here's so, where yeah, the but Caleb difference... Williams going number one. Drake May is uh, somebody that I don't, never heard any bad things about Curtis him. Curtis in... tells you bad things about him every day. No, no, as far as being in the locker room, because yeah. you say he's coachable. But like... here's, here's the issue with, with the J.J. McCarthy thing. First of all, people around here are romantic as I am about Tom Brady. You got the Michigan guy, you got the guy yeah. that's got the intangibles that's mm -hmm. been overlooked, all of that. The issue is that when you watch Michigan play, they were 
almost entirely about a great defense, field position, running the football, and getting J.J. the, the, the ball and, and to complete some big third downs and red zone, whatever. But with with when you look at what Drake May did, even though I don't think he's a great player, the offense was almost entirely in his hands. And okay, it was just a different... With receiving talent, that wasn't very good. But just because Jim Harbaugh wouldn't let him throw the football doesn't mean that he can't throw the football. Right, I don't but disagree. usually you're not drafted two overall based on what you think you could do. You probably should have seen it by 